It's been a couple of weeks since the last video, so I thought uh, we'll start where the last video started and we can do a quick run through because I want to get back to eating Christmas biscuits and uh, let's play spot the difference. So if you've noticed here, there is no difference. Well done. So we've done nothing here at all um, except bringing stuff in to get ready to put the floors down. So that might be something I do next week while I have some spare time on holidays. And uh, if we go through and ignore left and right as usual and uh, into the landing area here on the second floor I uh, finally have some underflooring down here I uh, did some plastering where the wall heating is and the kind of cabinets underneath are ready for the electricity box to go in for this floor and ready for the wall heating in the uh, kind of stairwell area to be connected up so Oh, that's kind of okay. Just have to do the sides of the the dormer, and that's done. And at the back here, same kind of thing. Um, plastering is done there, so the wall heating is covered. Just needs to be connected. And um, yeah, a bit of skimming or filling done on the the cabinet. That has to happen soon. And started doing a bit more work in uh, in this bedroom. So the uh, gable wall is now. Had a first kind of skim done, or kind of more like filling really. And uh, this wall here did a uh, another plastering job on that because the wall was quite cracked, so put some webbing in. And then also, uh, as I think I said in the last video, tackled some of the uh, the clay plastering as well. Just one small panel left because I had to put in the, uh, the the socket boxes there. And uh, otherwise, yeah. Ah, quite a bit of work to do here, I guess, uh, but it's skimming. It doesn't take long to do, but uh, I just hate doing it at this stage. But it has to be done. Uh, if you go on downstairs, and take a look what's happened here. There's been more action over the past couple of days down here. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago, um, I'd said I would maybe not tackle this myself, but uh, I decided to go for it. And Well, actually, last Sunday it was. Uh, got the rest of the living room floor down so uh, that's okay I'm happy with that we just need the skirting to be done more about that in a minute and then uh, in the kitchen we finally got our tiles for the backsplash splash back whatever it's called and uh, this was just finished yesterday with the uh, the grouting was done and a bit of uh, acrylic mastic put around the edges so that has to be painted but it's the same uh, tiles as the floor so it kind of carries it up to the wall and I think it works quite well still a few personal touches need to be done put a shelf up there or whatever to make it a bit more kind of cozy but overall I think the effect is quite nice and then because we had the tile around I didn't do this myself by the way because uh, we had the tiler in then uh, he also then Got our bathroom stuff done, so floor tiles in. Not as much of a contrast between the floor and the walls as it, as it looked in the showroom. I think the lighting was a bit brighter, maybe, but uh, it's okay. Um, I put the framework up ready for the um, wood paneling will go here, and then we need to get some sort of uh, table or build something uh, for the sink to sit on. Uh, so maybe in the next couple of weeks, again, while on holidays, I can get that done, buy some timber, and put that together. But that's quite easy to do. It's a curious optical illusion here though, because the uh, the that uh, latch that I have there is absolutely horizontal, but because uh, well the house around it is crooked, here standing here looking at this, it makes makes it look like the whole room is tilted. It's it's really a strange effect. I guess you can't really see that in the video, so you just have to believe me. And then the uh, the shower area obviously done, and we've ordered the shower doors so. Uh, just clear glass with as little framework as possible uh, to keep it kind of open because it's a, a small enough bathroom. Uh, so we just need to do some painting to finish the ceiling a little bit and uh, in theory once there's a toilet, a working toilet in here, we could move in. You know, so we don't have to use buckets or something. Uh, but yeah, I think January we're, we're well on the way. So actually my wife's already started moving in. If we... Uh, <laughs> There are books, just some of them, and here's a here's a few more. So that's already testing the uh, the structural integrity of the building. There's probably another ton to go, 
Uh, so the pressure is on me now to get the skirting done in this room so at least we can get our bookshelves up and get some of these things unpacked but let's take a look at that so yesterday I spent pretty much the whole day uh, making skirting boards <laughs> so I'm not sure is it worth it because it's a lot of effort so I, there was old uh, floorboards pine floorboards uh, from one of the bedrooms upstairs and uh, they're suitably long so four and a half meters long so I had to cut the width with a hand circular saw uh, then I have a um, yeah a table plane a thickener uh, so I was able then to plane them all to the same thickness and use that to remove the varnish uh, then sand them and then use the router with a slightly decorative attachment uh, to get a curve on it uh, doesn't want to focus sorry and uh, then last night I uh, undercoated them and then just yeah, half an hour ago I gave the, the first coat of uh, acrylic based enamel paint. Uh, so it's uh, water tinnable and a bit more environmentally friendly. Uh, so I'll give that a few more hours and uh, give it another coat and then hopefully tonight I'll fit the skirting on the uh, on my office and then next week you can start putting the bookshelves up. And um, once the books are over that's probably 60% yeah, of all our belongings will be over here. So yeah, going okay. I uh, also started making um, or preparing the timber for a door for my office. So these things here, they're pretty heavy timbers. Also old floorboards uh, from the living room, I think. Uh, I think it's larch. A nice red timber, lovely uh, resinous smell when you cut them. But it's raw, so kind of sawmill raw on one side and then it's been waxed and varnished on the other side for over God knows how many years. Um, so I was running them uh, two meter lengths through the thickener yesterday to kind of bring it down to a nice finish. And I'll use them to make a door, something like a uh, like a barn door style thing uh, on hopefully cast iron rails and uh, just to make it a bit more rustic looking. Not that important, I guess, but it uh, gives me something to do when, I, when I'm bored. And we're considering we're considering using this old washstand in the bathroom upstairs. Um, so it is a bit antique. The people who owned the house before us had taken it away and then they got it restored and gave it back to us, which is very nice of them. They must have been feeling guilty for the amount that we paid. Um, so we're considering that might be something to use. It's a bit maybe too decorative, but yeah. Do you have that or something from IKEA? So that's where we are at the moment. Um, Going to be a busy week so off work plenty to do till the next time